Hello everyone, it's Shannon here and welcome to Honeybee Stamps Spooktacular YouTube Hop. In today's video we are going to create this Fright Night Circlescape card. We're going to add lots of texture with ink blending and Copic markers and then add layered dimension with stacked die cuts. We're going to start with the Fright Night Circlescape die. I love this die set. It's a continuation of their Circlescape line, which I love so much. I went ahead and die cut the main circle out of white cardstock, and I've separated all the parts here. We're going to start with the moon and do a little bit of ink blending to add color to these different sections of this scene. Starting with Fresh Squeeze Lemonade, I'm going to ink blend the outer edge of the circle. Leave that center kind of white. Then I'll move on to Mustard Seed and ink blend that very edge just a little bit to create a gradation so it really creates that illusion of roundness on the moon. Once I finish the moon, we'll move on to the tree. I'm going to ink blend the whole tree with black soot, kind of lightly keeping it more gray where the branch is a little bit darker. And then I'll take the ink pad itself and swipe it directly over the tree and that will add some nice kind of bark like texture to that die cut. Now for the sky, we're going to ink blend first with Wilted Violet, starting with kind of the center uh, edge of the, the sky with that or that circle. Then I'll ink blend on the outer edge with Dusty Concord, again kind of creating a gradation where it's lighter and centering it's darker towards the edges. And I'll ink blend around all the sides with that Dusty Concord. And once I finish with that, we're going to bring in one more color. We're going to do a little bit of black soot on the edges as well. As as well just to really create that gradation. And once I finish the sky here, we'll move on to all these sections of the ground. I'm going to start by ink blending each the bottom of each one of these sections with peeled paint, create a little gradation, and then I'm going to move on to ground espresso. This is obviously a brown, just ink blend a little bit along the bottom edge to just kind of muddy it up, dirty it up a little bit. We don't want beautiful pristine green grass for our creepy scene. We want to kind of dirty it up a little bit with that ground espresso and it does a great job of that. I'm just going to repeat this process for each one of these sections, ink blending a gradation with peeled paint first and then adding a little bit of that ground espresso to the bottom edge just to, again to kind of darken it and dirty it up a little bit. Once we finish ink blending all of the ground pieces, we actually have that whole background scene done. And now we're going to move on to some of these additional images in the die set. I've grabbed these two pumpkins here and die cut them out of kind of a rust orange paper. Now I'm going to color this tiny little strip of yellow cardstock with some Copic markers to kind of create a little gradation. I'm going to use this strip here to add a, to make the look make those pumpkins or those jack-o'-lanterns really look like they're glowing so I'm going to add it behind them. Now I'm going to color my pumpkins first the stem with a little bit of brown and then I'm going to color in kind of the ridge lines of the pumpkin with this rust copic marker here. Just quickly draw those in. This is definitely extra. You don't have to do any of this. These pumpkins look cute on their own, but I really like kind of amping up the details in this scene. And plus, I just think they it's just really fun to do. I love coloring these little pumpkins. So once I finish adding those ridge lines, I'm going to trim my strip of uh, yellow cardstock here, kind of trim it down so I to a strip that I think will fit behind that pumpkin. And once I get it kind of, I check it, it fits, I'll then just kind of round the edges so it doesn't stick out beyond the pumpkin. And then I'll simply add some liquid glue to the back side of that pumpkin and stick it down. And then we have this super cute lit up little jack-o-lantern. Jack I just repeat this process for my second pumpkin, pumpkin here trimming off the edges so it's hidden nice and behind that little face and then we'll stick it down. I actually repeat this and I'll make two more pumpkins off camera but I think they turned out so good. Now we're going to move on to these gravestones here. There are three in the kit so I'm just going or three in the die set so I'm just going to pull them off and I went ahead and die cut them out of gray cardstock and now I'm just going to ink blend with pumice stone distress ink to add a little gradation over these uh, headstones and once I finished that I wanted to add some more texture so I grabbed some Copic markers and I'm just going to add little dots to these headstones just to make them look a little bit more porous more like they are um, aged and and actually like stone. Once I finish with this gray I'll then grab a kind of green sage to kind of also add little dots this will make it look hopefully a little mossy and that will actually complete my gravestones. 
Now I'm going to cut out a little fence out of some black cardstock, also using a die from the die set. And we're gonna add this to our scene. I'm gonna kind of turn it, bend it and kind of turn it here so it kind of follows along the uh, landscape line or the ridge line of the grass. And once I get it kind of bent, I'll then size it up, see how it fits, looks good. So I'll add a little bit of liquid glue to the bottom edge of that fence and then stick the um, ground right on top of it. Now I'll just repeat that for my second little um, piece of ground on the other side of the tree. Again, kind of bending it and turning it so it kind of mimics the shape or the edge of the grass. Then I'll place the ground right on top of it. And this one will, will require a little bit of trimming. Now my, my fence line doesn't go completely behind my tree. It kind of breaks open around the tree, which I'm totally okay with. I, I kind of wish I made it more, um, more broken looking and more um, not so perfect, but I really like the, the little the silhouette that it adds to our scene here. Okay, so now we've got these extra die cut layers out of white scrap cardstock. Now we're gonna layer these die cuts up so we add some dimension to our scene, but a layered dimension where it's, or kind of a stared, a stared or tiered dimension. So I'm starting with the layer, the bits with, um, or the ground with the fence, and I'm just going to layer it up with one layer die cut. And because of the fence that's already there, these will actually end up being like three layers stacked up. Then we'll move on to the tree here, which I'm stacking up two white die cuts, and then we'll put the uh, colored tree on top. So again, this will end up being three uh, die, die cut layers or three cardstock layers thick, which will add again some nice dimension from the moon and the sky. And then we're gonna get even taller from there. Um, the next layer is again just two, so that one's going to be the same as the previous ones because with the two stacked white layers and then the colored layer, there'll be three. I kind of wish I did this one four, but um, that's hindsight now. Then the next layer of ground is actually three die cuts stacked up and then the fourth will be the actual ink blended piece. So I'm stacking them all up here and then I'll grab the ink blended piece in just a second, there it is, and that'll be the fourth, so it's getting now progressively taller, and then the last one will be four die cuts stacked up with the colored piece on top, so it'll end up being five in total as well. So kind of a tiered like um, um, dimension, but really adds to the scene. Definitely a little bit more extra F effort or extra work, but I really love how it turned out. I think it just is so cool. And I can't wait to try it with my previous or my other uh, circlescape die, the uh, sun one. I love that. And I, I think this is a really fun technique with this die set. So now that I finished stacking those up, I'm going to kind of create my front panel. I have a A2 um, black panel here. I've just grabbed the largest frame die from that circle scapes shaker frames set. And I went ahead and die cut it out. I'm not gonna keep the inner part, but the frame and the remaining part of my panel I'm gonna keep. And then I flipped this over and now I'm adding foam adhesive to the backside to lift it up, but also to attach that, keep that frame inside the, the rest of the panel. I went ahead and removed the backing on the foam adhesive and now I'm gonna stick it onto an A2 top folding black card base. Uh, once I stick that down, I'll then um, arrange my little circle scape scene, pick it up with a piece of press and seal. Uh, I haven't stuck those layers together, so they're, they, I need that press and seal to kind of hold it all in place. And then I'll grab my liquid glue and add liquid glue to the backside of all my pieces of my uh, circle scape scene. Once I've added liquid glue to the backside, I'll then pick up my press and seal, center it in that opening, of, uh, of my card front. And then once I get it in place, I'll kind of press it all down and, you know, tweak the position, make sure it's nice and centered in that opening. It's pretty easy to do because of the dimensional half um, that will butt up nicely against the edge of that circle window. And then I'm gonna grab my tweezers here and kind of tuck any bits of the, um, the fence that's kind of sticking out, kind of tuck it in under that circle frame. And that will complete kind of the background. Now we're gonna move on to kind of finishing the card. I have a sentiment here from the Hocus Pocus stamp set. I stamped it in white heat and embossed it on some black cardstock and then die cut it out with a matching die. Now we're gonna glue down our headstones and our um, little pumpkins to really complete the scene, really give it that 
final, I think, Halloween kind of vibe. I love the contrast of the orange pumpkins here and the definitely the headstones add a creepy vibe. I am, I am even going to add a pumpkin in the tree because I kind of like how it brings your eye up to the upper part of the scene. Then I'll finish by adding some foam adhesive to the backside of my sentiment and stick it down onto my card front. Now I'll hold it to the camera so you can get a good look at this card. I love the way it turned out. I love the depth in this scene and all the little details like the the ridges on the pumpkin, the the stone texture to the headstones. I really love how this one turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions about the products that I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.